On Sunday, the 17th of September, I participated in the fancy women bike ride in my city. The ride takes place every year on World Car Free Day. The first ride was held in Turkey in 2013. Sunday's ride was the third one to take place in my city. The intent of the ride is to show that anyone can ride a bike and they don't need to look like someone from the Tour de France while riding. At my city's fancy women's bike ride, there were at least 100 women, maybe even up to 150. One female city councillor addressed the crowd before the ride. I thought I saw a second female city councillor at the beginning, but I couldn't see her again before the ride started, so I might have been mistaken. One male city councillor joined the ride towards the end of the route. My city has a fairly progressive council when it comes to active transportation, so I expected to see more than just two councillors. I realize councillors have a lot of demands on their time, and it would still be nice if more showed up to the ride especially since my city intends to spend a lot of money on active transportation very soon. I also counted about 10 men on the ride. One of the highlights of the ride for me was seeing three other Bromptons. Two of them even have the same paint as me. So, why do I go to the fancy women's bike ride as an ally? The ride is trying to bring awareness that women also have a right to the city. Historically, urban planning has been male dominated. This means cities have typically not been designed with the needs of others in mind. Women tend to have less access to SUVs, more concerns about safety, and more childcare responsibilities than men, as well as other needs that differ from men. If your city is designed without considering these needs, women and others may feel excluded from life in the city. Academically, that was one of my interests, yes. so that's why I use this YouTube channel oh, <laughs> to raise awareness of the little things that prevent people from moving around their city outside an SUV. Also, as someone with progressive disability, I'm becoming more aware of when my city has been designed with only the needs of able-bodied white men in mind. So, that was my experience of this year's Fancy Women Bike Ride. If you want to learn more, the link to the main website is in the notes. If you're a woman, I encourage you to get involved in a ride near you. If you're someone who wants to experience their city outside an SUV, I encourage you to get involved in any walks or rides that encourage you or others to engage more with your city. Please leave a comment if you attended a fancy women bike ride or some other event that tries to bring visibility to people enjoying their city.